Do you want to dynamically subscribe to every single Kafka topic that was created in the meanwhile? And you want to do all of that without needing to reconfigure your services or even restart them? We all have designed systems where we want topics based on things like the country of your clients, the product family, or any other type of category that will keep expanding while the business keeps evolving. So in this video, I will show you how you can dynamically and automatically subscribe to a wide range of topics, even when you are not aware of their existence. So let's start by addressing the most important problem. When we want to define our consumers, we need to define, for example, one topic that we want to consume, at least one, or a list of them. But that doesn't seem compatible with a system where we keep growing the number of topics. For example, if every single new client would have a topic for a given purpose, how do you spot that you have that new topic and you start reacting to it? So in this case, you will design your topics, your partitions, you decide that every single client will have a topic for that. Imagine every single client as a topic for all the events regarding orders of that client. I know that this sounds extreme, but it's just an example. But the question is, what happens to new clients? If I have my consumers already in production looking for the existing set of clients, when I have a new client, that client will produce a given message and usually what will happen is when you produce the first message for that client, if your Kafka broker has the property auto create equals to true, it means that when you have the first message, that topic will be created. Kafka will create the topic for you, but now you need to subscribe to that topic. How can you do it? If you have defined your consumers with specific names, so defining specifically that I want to consume to this topic with this exact name, you will not be aware of that one. So now you need to build a way to react to those changes or you need to go there to reconfigure the system. But technically, no, you have another option. Let me show you. The solution is based on using name patterns and you can use wildcards to define the names of the topics that you want to subscribe. And the good news is that this is a feature that is in the base library that all the clients that you have been using from Confluent are using. This feature is not that well documented, but it's there. So I will show you how to do that using Kafka flow, but in fact, you can use even the default Confluent client library for .NET because they are both using the same mechanism. So Kafka flow is delegating those requests to the Confluent client, and then the Confluent client is using that common library. Every single thing that I will show you can be used in both situations. So let me start by showing you the source code that we'll be using for this demo. And by the way, you can grab it as a patron as always. So you have two APIs, okay? Clients API, a marketing API. Every single time that we have a new client, we will produce a given message saying, okay, we have a new client. By the way, this is the same sample that I showed you a few videos ago that you can see right here. And, and the marketing API, is consuming the messages as a Kafka consumer. And if we put it side by side, the thing, the only thing that you need to do is in your topics, when you are in your consumers, when you are subscribed to a given topic, instead of defining a specific topic or a list of them, you just define that you have a topic prefix. So all the topics should start with something. So every single topic for clients will start with that something and then you add the star. So that means that every single thing that starts with that and ends with something else will land into that place, into that consumer. So now we just need to go here on the producer and we copy the prefix, move it to here, and let's remove the old subscription. So by doing this simple trick, you have 80% of the work done. The rest of the work is quite simple as well. When you define consumers in Kafka, the consumers will load the metadata of the topics and all of that into memory. And we need to have a way to define a kind of a refresh rate to look for new things. So if we don't do anything, it will take a long time until the moment that this consumer is aware that now we have a country, Spain or a country, something else, right? 
So what you can do to address that is simply on your add consumer, you will define that you want to use a consumer config and this will give you access to this object, the new consumer config, so that one. And inside of that object, you have a property named topic metadata refresh interval. So since this is in milliseconds, let's say that, okay, I want every five seconds to refresh the metadata, okay? You will need to find the limit that you want to adjust here. This is just an example. So with these two configurations, now every single time that I have a new message for a new country code, my consumers will automatically look into that and after five seconds, it, they will pull the information of all the topics and they will see, okay, now, now I have a new topic that I should be aware of because it starts with that prefix and ends with something else. So now let's move into, into that. So just one small detail that I think I forgot to say, that is to take advantage of these patterns in your name, you need to start with this. So as far as the name starts with this, you can use the, the star to say, okay, anything else that goes from here. So let's see this in action. I have my applications running and you can see here from this log message that Kafka flow has detected that there's one topic. So the consumer is connecting to the topic country PT. So now if we go into this API client that we have right here, and we publish something, for example, for the US, let's produce it. Now, if we get back into the logs of the marketing API, we can see that those five seconds went by. And now I have here the information that, okay, in fact, there's two topics. There's the topic country PT, and there's also the topic country US. But to make this even more clear, Let's go here to the country code and change the from US to UK. Give it a different name, so Guilherme, and send it. We go back into the logs and we can see exactly the same thing. Now we have three. Country UK is already here. So the only way to be sure that in fact the application is handling those messages for your benefit. And you, you could already trust me and see right here that, okay, I have offsets being committed for that topic. But let me call that API. And in the results, you can see that in fact, the marketing API has handled the country called UK, US, and PT. So this is an extremely simple way to design your consumers to react to multiple topics when they follow a given pattern in the names. And do you know another thing that could be so simple as this one when building your Kafka clients it's open telemetry. But I have good news. There's a new way of doing that. And in this video right here, I show you how you can instrument your Kafka consumers and producers in a matter of minutes.